A high stakes G7 summit and global turmoil. President Trump arriving in France this morning for the gathering of world leaders amid global disputes that are threatening unity between allies. Over the next three days, leaders will discuss everything from trade and economic issues to climate change and the ongoing tension with Iran and North Korea. But before departing for the summit, President Trump set the stage for conflict by vowing to escalate a trade war with China and threatening to hit France with a tariff on wine. I don't want them doing anything having to do with taxing unfairly our companies. Those are great American companies, and frankly, I don't want France going out and taxing our companies. Very unfair. And if they do that, we'll be taxing their wine or doing something else. We'll be taxing their wine like they've never seen before. CNN senior White House correspondent Pamela Brown joins us now from southern France. So, uh, Pam, uh, Trump and Macron have already met this morning over lunch. What more can you tell us uh, about any further discussions and maybe even a comment or two in response to what the president is talking about, threatening these tariffs on wine? Yeah, that's right. It's interesting because uh, just before leaving Washington, the president had those stern words for President Macron uh, saying that he will impose a tariff on French wine and, and perhaps other French goods in response to the digital tax. Uh, but today, during the lunch between President Macron and President Trump, there was an exchange of pleasantries. The president seemed to put a positive spin on things, uh, calling Macron his friend. He didn't make mention of the digital tax at all, though he did sort of reference and hint at some of the disagreements that lie beneath the surface on some of these key issues that the G7 is really all about. Uh, that would be, you know, a, a climate change on trade on Iran. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see what came out of that lunch. But here's what the two leaders said at the very beginning. We really look forward to it. We actually have a lot in common, Emmanuel and I. We've been friends for a long time. And every once in a while we go at it just a little bit, not very much. But we get along very well. We have a very good relationship, sort of, I think I can say a special relationship. Uh, we all remember the Eiffel Tower dinner, and that was a very good beginning, and uh, uh, we have some really great things to talk about. We will discuss as well about the economic global situation, how to decrease tensions and, and, and fix the situation in terms of, uh, of trade extensions, because I think if we manage to fix the situation, seven of us fix a great part of the world. Now, one of the key issues for President Macron is climate change. He's been very focused on the wildfires in the Amazon. It's unclear, though, how receptive President Trump will be. After all, last year during the G7, he skipped the summit on climate. He is really coming into this weekend with the economy top of mind. And we've learned from a White House official that the president spoke over the phone with the new British Prime Minister Boris Johnson uh, yesterday. The two leaders are expected to meet face to face uh, sometime over the summit. Of course, there's a lot to discuss there as Brexit looms. Boris Johnson is looking for the support from President Trump as it appears the UK is headed toward a no-deal Brexit. Now, tomorrow morning, there is this economic summit that the president pushed for, and you can imagine that some of the G7 leaders will be bringing up uh, the trade war with China uh, that escalated just yesterday with both sides slapping tariffs on one another. Uh, some of these leaders here believe that the president's trade war is contributing to the uh, overall global economic slowdown. And sources I've been speaking with about what to expect from this G7 summit. They're downplaying expectations, saying don't expect anything groundbreaking. Back to you. Right, and that being underscored by the tweet uh, coming from the French president saying, you know, the G7 Biarritz has begun. We may not accomplish everything we've set out to, but we'll do our best to be effective to ensure your security, create more jobs, and fight the inequality that you are suffering. So um, expectations low. <laughs> Pamela Brown, thank you so much.